ahead and uh, begin with the questions now these are all uh, the past year questions and uh, you know they are across different years so they are mostly from your consumer theory but i just found out that you know by mistake i think so i've added one or two uh, questions which were not yet covered but we'll try and do those also so the first question that we have is uh, from utility functions. So let's see what the question is saying. It says, question number one, Miss Sulekha wants to buy two goods, namely samosa and jalebi when she is having money income of 200. So the money income, it's given as 200. The price of samosa is 10 each and the price of jalebi is four each. So price of samosa is 10. And price of jalebi, it is given as four. What proportion of income should she allocate on samosa and jalebi to maximize utility when the utility function is given to you as u of x1, x2 under root? Now, the trick to solve these kind of questions is that you just look at the power of the Cobb Douglas function. So it's uh, it is asking what is the proportion of income that you spend. Now I'll just give you one idea. So whenever your utility function is of the form x1 to the power alpha, x2 to the power beta, we know that x1 star will be alpha upon alpha plus beta m by px. This is the amount of x that you will buy. Expenditure on x will be how much? It will be price into quantity. So px into x. So you will multiply this with Px as proportion of income. So will be what? Divide both side by income. So this is the expenditure on good X divided by income. So it is expenditure of good X as a proportion of income of the consumer. And if I solve this, this gets cancelled. So this is nothing but it is simply alpha upon alpha plus beta. So this is the trick. You just have to remember whenever it asks you about proportion of income that is spent on the good, you just find alpha upon alpha plus beta. So in this case, this is x1 to the power half, x2 to the power half. So your proportion of income that you allocate on first commodity will be alpha upon alpha plus beta, which will be half. So which is 50%. So the answer is B. Just look at alphas and betas. Don't start forming the entire Lagrange. It is not going to be useful here. Okay, let's go to the next question. 